any kind of avid cyclist wants to try something different and you just start end up riding it like you would any kind of other bicycle. So long distance rides, commuting to work. I actually feel safer riding one of those on the road um, compared to a regular bicycle because I think people are more bicycle friendly with those types of bicycles. So they actually give you a little bit more room on the road, which is pretty cool. You wouldn't think that, <laughs> but but they do. And Because they, uh, they're like, what in the world is that? <laughs> It's not odd anymore. I remember when I first had one, I was one of the only ones locally that had one. And so I would ride it to work and my wife's coworkers would say, I think I saw your husband riding one of those bicycles through town. She was like, no, that's not my husband. Cause she was kind of embarrassed with the bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> She's since come around. Eric Rhodes and his wife, Jean, are now co-directors of Saturday's Race. <laughs> What's in store for spectators who will go to the high wheel race in Frederick? Well, I mean, we're really excited to get back to our downtown. During the intermission from the qualifying heats to the championship round, we're actually going to have a low wheel race as well. And so like these little clown bikes that will race up Market Street, <laughs> which will be really, really cool. I didn't um, see that coming. I didn't <laughs> see the clown bikes coming. <laughs> so you got to have, if you have high wheel, you got to have low wheel, right? Also a slow race, which rewards balance and the last person to cross the finish line. The high wheel race hasn't run since 2018. The returning champion hails from Sweden. And a lot of these races are really popular in, um, in other countries, but this is the only one in the United States. Also within City Hall, which is sort of the um, epicenter of this lapped course that they're going to do, um, our downtown partnerships is actually offering a, uh, a beer garden as well. Um, it's called Lawn Party at the High Wheel. And so they'll have DJs and uh, um, food trucks and that, and that kind of uh, um, entertainment. So uh, how do you encourage it? With the scene, Tommy McFly, News 4.